Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 mod. We're jumping in this time as Bandit with a bunch of modded skills we got going on here. We've got Standoff, which is going to give us critical strikes against attacking enemies. As our passive, we've got Bounce, which means we get bouncy shots. We've got Dynamite Toss. We have the Kinetic Refractor to become invisible while we're sprinting and gain a burst of movement speed. And then we've also got Murder Party. Fire Revolver Shot, killing uh, kills reset the cooldown and start a kill chain. Very intriguing indeed. We're going to play on Monsoon this time as well, a little bit of an increase than normal, and see what we can get done as this character, because this guy, pretty good. We also got the Verdant Falls again here, which is very nice to see. But yeah, very intrigued to see how, I mean, I really like the, um, the passive sprinting ability thing, but this Ricochet ability seems like it's going to be pretty damn good. I like the idea behind that quite a bit. And then, let's have a little look at our uh, Dynamite Toss there. Little hard to hit, but it can be shot in midair. And then the kill chain one here. Interesting. Oh, God. The crits against attacking enemies is pretty amazing. Yeah, I like that. So if I want to go... Let's have a look. Look, see. If I do this and then go boom. There you go. And that spreads a bunch of bombs around everywhere. Okay, we like that a lot. Apparently on this stage, there's a guaranteed scrapper or large chest at the top of here that I've learned about. So I'm going to go and take a look which one we've got. I think we got the scrapper by the looks of it. Yes, we did. Guaranteed scrapper right there. Look, it'll either be a scrapper or a large chest. Either one, pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with either or. Yeah, this invincibility while running around is, is rather, rather nice here. Um, I've not been down here before. This is a little bit of a new... A new bit for me. I think this is just a way to get back down to the uh, the floor of the stage. But we actually need to find some chests here. I've not spent any money as of yet. Right. Boom. I like that. I'm going to use that a lot. Less damage from attack from behind. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Bit of an enforced spine. That's good. Any more? Okay, there's a triple shop over here. This kill chain idea thing with the resetting cooldowns, I'm intrigued how that works. I think I need more enemies to take full advantage of that, to be honest. I don't think it really works with the amount of enemies that are on the stage at the minute, to be honest. Topaz brooch. Not bad, not bad. Um, and we'll give that a go as well. Another scrapper down here. Uh, honestly... Honestly, I think it's probably worth us scrapping all three of these. Damn it, that dynamite's kind of hard to use. I'm liking this ricochet, though. You can see how it's making moves. Try to remember, on Monsoon now, we've got a lot less... Uh... I see you're trying to attack me. But yeah, now we can do this. Didn't mean to actually do all four there, but what's done is done, I guess. We do have another 3D printer back over there. I can't remember what that was, though. That's a good way to do it. Instantly firing it. Yeah, I didn't mean to get rid of the crit glasses there, but what's done is done, I guess. Let's keep moving through here. Don't know what that is. My money's pretty precious to me right now, so I'm not going to buy that. I don't even have en enough to buy it anyway, so even, if even if I wanted to. Wow, this movement speed boost is lovely. Okay, I can't sprint while I've got my uh, Desperado gun out, whatever it's called. Because it, it just cancels it straight away. Yeah, it just instantly cancels it, so I've got to be careful. It's got a very long cooldown as well. I need to get a better, better idea of how to use it. Fire revolver shot for 600 damage. Kills reset the cooldown and start a kill chain. I'm not exactly sure what a kill chain is. Does it tell me? It does not. I don't know what a kill chain is. I've not done a great job this stage thus far in terms of being speedy here, so... I'm not quite sure what that's about. Another chest down there, another one there. Lovely stuff. Nice, okay, we've got plenty of chests here around, actually. Repulsion armor plate's very nice. Fire shield is kind of decent. Fork is just straight up 8% extra damage. We like that. Okay, I kind of get the kill chain now. Do you see how that, like, it marked an X on that enemy? Well, I'm really confused why the cooldown keeps coming on there. That's something we have to get used to and work out. Oh, 
loving that crit on enemies attacking. Especially on ranged enemies, that's going to be super top tier. Doing us good. I see a chest up there. I think I can get up there from this little, uh, little pulsey thing here. There's one of them. And actually, here's that teleporter as well, so good to know. I think I saw a chest just down here. Yes. Got a lot of uh, a lot of damaging chests. A lot of these ones are combat chests. We like that a lot. Touching enemy makes it vulnerable to your next attack. That's pretty good to know. Like that enemy look. There you go. You see how he's like charging up, sir? So just crit the hell out of him. Ah, so I've got to get to that next enemy in a certain amount of time, I think. I think that's how it works. This guy's kind of a, a pain in the ass, isn't he? Ooh, my health is not great right now. Ukulele, though. We like a ukulele here. We don't have really anything healing-wise here, so I'm a little worried for the boss. I mean, we're doing amazing damage. And also, while it's attacking, we're critting as well. So that's even better. Beautiful stuff. Bosses taken care of. We'll get the hell out of here before we end up perishing. The invisibility is going to be really clutch for us here as well. Lovely stuff straight to the next stage. And we have some stuff off the bat here as well. What, what's, what's this? Like a urchin or something? I'm not quite exactly sure what that is. Health chest, something we desperately need right now, so I'll take it. Gain barrier on applying bleed. Although not relevant right now, that could end up being pretty good. So I think I've got to kill that enemy next to keep the chain going. Which seems pretty difficult, to be honest, in general. Crowbar here I think is going to be pretty good. Okay, we, we, we did apply some bleed there by the looks of things. Or maybe it comes with some inherent bleed application. What we got here? Some sort of card. I wanted to check out what this is. Chance to spawn an orb on hit that follows and hurts enemies. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Yeah, I'm definitely applying some bleed luck. Regenerative scrap. Beautiful. Get another one of those. Ah, that missed, doesn't it? You direct impact it in, that's good. Ooh, there's uh there's our orb, dude. That thing's kind of amazing. I think I think I'm going whole hog on this. I know ukulele's good, but I genuinely think having four of these orb things could be pretty amazing. Yeah, if I sprint, it cancels it. That I think this ability is maybe a little not great. <laughs> it might be a little bit kind of broken. Good, good. We got plenty of chests about this time around. They're all stacked on top of each other. I need to stand perfectly still to make it work. Boom. A ton of damage to that guy, though. And yeah, I can't move again. <laughs> right, we've got a big chest over here. It's probably going to be 140-ish. Dude, that, that TNT. I like it. The dynamite. It also recharges very, very quickly. That's enough to get the big chest down here. Regular big chest by the looks of it? I think it is, yeah. Could be anything we get out of this. Okay, permanent armor on kill. Depends how much permanent armor. Oh, that is that is quite a heavy layer of fog you've given me there. Let's see if we can at least spot the chests in the fog. We did find the teleport already, didn't we? Yes, it's right next to us here. There's bound to be a few more chests around. Here's one. 
Gain a stacking chance to bleed enemies during combat, taking damage removes it, and plus the item on cooldown. I think I'm just going to go with more of the orbs, to be honest. Like, the orbs just seem fun. And the, 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 the more of them I can get out there, the better. Let's go grab a few more of those. I am going to quickly, actually, go and see what this does. Just in case this item's better than the orb, somehow. I don't think it is. I think I do remember what this does. I just can't remember directly off of the sprite. Let's have a little look-see. Why well, have a shield? Yeah, so it's good, but we don't need it right now. Give me all the orbs. Alright, fog's clearing at least. That's nice. Good, good, good. We'll take that. We'll come back and around up to this. I love that ricochet. Obviously not as much direct damage, but you know, to spread that damage amongst the enemies is very, very nice. Good thing is with bosses, they're pretty much always attacking, so we gain a lot of crit against bosses. As you can see, hey, got the nail as well. I like the nail, thank you. Oh, there's a, a log there that I missed. I think I did actually get it there just at the end. Right, my re regenerative scrap is back. Ooh, Scorch here, because at night it looks beautiful. Like that. Okay, are you attacking? Yes, you are. Here comes that orbs. Dude, they, them things do a lot of damage. <laughs> Go for random here by the looks of it. Cautious slug's not bad, actually. Gasolina. Damn it, completely whiffed that. Oh, this is a big chest, I didn't realize. I was wondering why I couldn't open it. For one, I don't have any money, but for two, it is a large chest. Dude, that thing's so good. Ooh, nice. We got a horse hoof there, I didn't realize. I'm liking the burning we're applying here. There goes an orb of ours. Ooh, brilliant behemoth. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Teleporter's just down there. I think it's below this bit. All of our attacks exploding. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Touching enemy. Oh, it just turns into another item we already have, I think. That's what that item did. It's decent. Sticky bomb. One Luna. Okay, not much more up there to see. Yeah, my attacks explode, boy. I would not mess with me. I have power you can only dream of. Power you cannot fully comprehend. Yeah, there's our teleporter. I thought it was nestled under here. Another fire shield. We got much out the ways of here. We got something over there. I think that's actually an active item, which I'm surprised we haven't found yet. So it's good to see. No, it's not. It's a regular chest. Just saw it from a weird angle. We have to save up a little bit for this. Okay, did not, I was like, did that kill him? It didn't. It just made him invisible. Alright, hold up, dude. Hold up. Oh, there you go. That's a bomb. This thing's crazy. Dude, these orbs, though. These orbs are insane. Have we got a scrapper anywhere? I could definitely go for a scrapper right now. I've got a lot of items that I kind of think are trash for me right now. I've not seen one in a little bit there. I need to use the scrappers a bit more often. I don't really use them enough. Let's go for the boss here. He is invisible, but luckily we're able to deal some damage to him still. 
I managed to hit him with that. Wow. Okay, there is two of these guys to fight. Other ones there, look. Keep our distance for now. I'm actually kind of glad I'm down here. Go, my orbs. This, this boss is so cool for a modded boss. There you go, we're good. We got ourselves a Herpu feather. I don't think we saw any green 3D printers on this stage. I think we're just ready to go. Ah, there was a 3D printer right there. It wasn't a green one, though. With the regenerative scrap, we always want to try and find the green ones early. I'm going to be looking for a scrapper on this stage, though, if I can. Hello, big sir. How are you? That's some bleed if we want it. Oh, beautiful. Look at that damage. France Barrier and Gold. Oh, God. Another one of these guys on us as well. Not a big fan of those guys. We do have a Herpy Feather now, so we're getting a bit more jumps, which is nice. Oh, my God. Yes, it killed him. Good. Right, of course we'll look for our big chest here. Let's do the rounds first. Ooh, big chest. Lovely. Shackle enemies on hit. Not bad at all. Dude, that jump is so high. Our second jump is like very, very large. Killing strong enemies permanently increases damage. That's very, very nice as well. Don't know what drone that is. Incinerator drone? I don't think so. Oh, Kuraba, yes. ATG, maybe? Can we go with the ATG? Oh, here comes the orbs, baby. ATG, why not? Where, where, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Where do you think I am? Could quickly check up here for the chest, although it doesn't seem to be here already. There's a 3D printer up here somehow, though. Just chilling. Increase health regen. We don't really need that right now. Our health is actually pretty good. Oh, you're the one. Where, where is it you're exactly going? Got you shackled. We got our orb doing its thing as well. The orbs do crazy good damage. Right. We got, I think it's two or maybe three other locations it can be. The big chest. Bit of crit chance, bit of healing. I think it's 5% crit chance. Still no scrapper though. Still no scrapper. Oh, we did get a void thing over here. We'll uh, partake in that. Do not have our chest there either. Yeah, it's not here. I can't remember where the other locations are. Okay, there's a scrapper finally. Oh, we got one of these little dudes here. Come, come, you chill. Nope, he is uh, very much committed suicide for some reason. Not entirely sure on his motive behind that, but thank you. Right, don't care about those. Um, I'm going to have to be careful here because there's a bunch of enemies around me. Uh, what else don't we care about? Flashbang, I don't really care about. Ooh, that is... Where the hell's the enemy that's hitting me here? I know of you. There's a mushroom somewhere firing at me, though. I don't like that. Um, don't really care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Okay. Got some decent stuff. Still haven't found our legendary chest, though. Really don't know where that is. Teleport us down here. Prince Barrett here. Nice. 
I think it's over here. I think this is the only other place I can be, but I don't remember exactly where. Or it's all the way at the top of the tree. I think that's another location, actually, so I could go and check that. We do have a chest down here as well. We'll get all we can while we can. Drones are overclocked. Again, attack speed chance to burn enemies. Decent. Not that we're using many drones right now, but if we get some in the future, it could be good. Big chest here. I'm faster at lower HP. Right, let's zoom up here. It's not where I wanted to go, actually, but I will take that. Up here is where I wanted to go. It must be up here. It's not. Where the hell is it? Very confused. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I see the mushrooms. Must be over here. I didn't even know this was the location it could be. We still need quite a bit more, though, money-wise. Should be able to get it reasonably quickly. Oh shit, hello. Did not see you there. You chilling out? You, you good? Almost got enough. How much we're looking at? Hey, we got enough. And we got ourselves the happy ma happiest mask, which apparently received a buff. So it used to be kind of meh. Apparently it got a buff, so it might be better. Might be a little better. We, we shall see. We shall see. We did almost just die there. But we didn't, so we're good. Oh, beautiful. Let's have a teddy bear. Increase armor. Oh, the original Tough Times. Probably could have played the scrapper a little more there and gotten some other stuff scrapped. We didn't need to. I'm legendary. Not even gotten close to enough for that. Uh, I think we just go for attack speed then, don't we? Cool. And then we can pick our stages here if we want. Sky meta. I don't know what that one is. I'm going to give that one a go. Soul Burning Satellite. I've probably been there before. I don't remember it. By name, at least. No! There you go. Go, 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 go. Take me away. Ah, it's this one. Yes. I like this one. Right, so remember, we've got a good amount. We've got five regular scrap and two green scrap. So we want to be finding uh, 3D printers here. I like having two charges of that now. Because of my corrupted fuel cell. There's a lot going on up here. Got you as well. Although, honestly, the bosses really aren't that bad because they're always attacking, so I'm always critting them. I'm getting plenty of money right now as well. Absorbing equipment, gaining its effect. I'm interested to see how that works. More attack speed. We like it. Look, look at my orb. Look at my orb just absolutely wreck that guy. 
Big boy chest. No 3D printers about though. I mean, I'm staying up top for right now. I'll go down below and check shortly. So many of these guys. You're not needed around here. Looking for the teleporter in this area is going to be the hardest bit. Ooh, I love Nail Bomb. Getting a few stacks of Nail Bomb would be pretty awesome. Didn't we already use one of these in this stage? How come there's two of them? Yeah, we did. There's multiple of them. Unless that's the one I did use. I don't think it is, though. Will of the Wisp. Hmm. Oh, there's a teleporter. Just found it. Good, good. No 3D printers, though. Sadly, no 3D printers. See Nail Bomb doing its thing there. Shoot an enemy, and you get a big bomb above their head. Do I actually have enough for that chest yet, surprisingly? We'll hang about for a little bit and try and earn some- Oh my lord, hello, who are you? Right, let's go. We got the grandparent, I kind of wasn't expecting him, but... I, I never know how easy or hard this guy is. Sometimes he gets absolutely wrecked, like now, and other times he just insta-one-shots me. This time around was not one of those times, apparently. Into the blue portal. Could go with a null portal, but I'll just go blue for now. We'll see where this takes us. Lots of red items this time, but I don't think I'll be able to afford any of them. My god, almost exclusively red. I'll just take two of these bands. What is this? Gonna give it a go. Chance to poison enemies with thallium on hit. Give it a go. Seems interesting. I don't know what else we lost on that, to be honest. I wasn't paying much attention. But I don't think our green items are really doing all that much for us right now. So I don't think that was that big of a loss. Two of those were scrap anyway, so we only lost three real items. Ooh, this area looks lovely at this time of day. Good old sunny area. I'm hearing you. I I, I know you're, you're doing your thing. I'm, I'm curious to see what this poison on hit looks like. Seems to do a bloody good amount of damage, to be honest. Wow, yeah, this seems, this seems very strong. Extra 8% damage there. Probably go and check across the uh, across the way first. To be honest, kind of forgot we had the happiest mask doing its thing, creating friends for us. Okay, teleporter isn't over here. I, you've always got to check. Sometimes it sneaks its way across when you don't expect it to. W what what champion is this? I mean, he just drops himself off the map, but that's a champion I have not seen before, and it's kind of scary, it's like a doom. The acquisition form thing here. My god. <laughs> Take one of these chests. Oh, hello. Ooh, hello. Whoa. That was a lot of essences. <laughs> On pickup, crack open 15 out of essences with boot stats. Future essences will come with one more. That seems pretty damn good. Right. Teleport should be somewhere over here. We have a 3D printer. We have two 3D printers here. Ah, both of them are kind of crap, though. Where the hell is the teleporter? It's got to be like around this corner or something. 
The fog certainly isn't helping in finding it. I am a little bit perplexed as to where it would be. I feel like I've searched the entirety of the stage now. Can't be just where I spawned, right? Okay, the fog's clearing at least. I spawned up here. And then it's not down there. It's not down there. Oh, some more essences there that I missed. It's not there. It's not across the across the way unless I missed it. It's also raining now. I think this little corner right here is the only place I haven't checked. I'm completely confused. Is that guy okay? Yeah, I don't know where this teleporter is. It must be across that island. It literally has to be, right? It has to be over there. I just must have missed it. So I swear, every time this island spawns, it's over here. Oh, it is over here. I just literally just missed it. I'm stupid. Just down below. Cheeky is what I call that. Cheeky. Go orb of death. My god. Very speedy kills there. Yeah, I think I think when you play you, when you're like not playing Eclipse mode, you don't have to worry too much about what items you get and like scrapping and stuff like that. It's it's only in like the the Eclipse mode and stuff that you've really got to be quite careful. Like the amount of healing we have going on right now is pretty heavy. I think we managed to kill that guy as well. Teleporters over here. I think we're probably just gonna go straight for it at this point. been a pretty quick run to be honest pretty speedy oh my god i absolutely love the chain reaction power we have going on right now and just the infinite crits right very quick stage there look at us sliding through this little bit here i love it it's beautiful And then this is our last stage, right? Um, do we see the teleporter straight away? This poison thing as well. Doing some gnarly damage. Ah, there's an imp overlord. I was like, where, where'd that come from? There's an imp overlord here. Took quite a lot of damage in all of that, but I'm somehow still still living. Unfortunately, water does not prevent you from taking fall damage. I think the crits healing us is like the main thing keeping us alive right now. Good old tougher times. Teleporter's just down there. Quickly go and grab a few more items before we do this boss. Don't think one that gives us money like that is going to be super helpful. What is going on with some of these enemies glitching like that? We've got our acquisition form as well here. Okay. It is time. The celestial portal will spawn. It's just magma worm. Nothing to worry about. How many magma worms? I'm not entirely sure. But we've got such crazy chain reactions going on on hit. We don't really have to worry. Yeah, 
go, we got him. And we got yet another yellow item, wow. There's a Celestial Portal. That is a nice, speedy and efficient bandit run with some of the new gear. We like to see it. We like to see it. Oh, I missed out on a mask there, whatever that is. Yeah, nice, speedy and efficient run here. And come to the edge here and uh, grab our thumbnail. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of need to remember to not take um, fungus so I can get thumbnails better. Boom! Right, let's move on our way. We should be able to jump across the vast majority of this. The dove helps a lot. Oh, I didn't have an extra jump there. What the hell? I don't know why I didn't have an extra jump there. I must have bounced rather than jumped off of that next platform. That's a waste of time. <gasps> My piggy bank. I wonder if I can just, like, scoot all the way off this and towards the next one. I, I honestly doubt it, but I had to try. I, I, actually, ooh, I think I can. I'm going to have to try that again. I think I can, but I've just got to time it right. I think I can. I've just got to time it right. Right. Let's have a look, see. Oh, you see that absolute perfection right there. Now, that's always like a challenge to know like how good your movement speed is at the end of a run, isn't it? <laughs> Just see if you can make it all the way down in one go. But either way, thanks for getting off run off here. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.